So welcome to episode 21 of my Indie or Outy series here on YouTube where I look at an indie game and decide if it gets to stay indie switch or gets booted outy. And today I'm looking at Cedar's Puzzle Reboot, which looks incredibly basic but manages to take up 300 megs of space. So uh, yeah, with these I'm not going to take a long form review. It's more a case of a first look at the first couple of minutes of gameplay. I get to see if it's something there a player might get uh, some use out of. That's crazy physics there with those skaters. They promised the story. Also, it looks kinda cool. I'm still trying to like, work out where the 300 megs of uh, music or s graphics are. That was a rad move, man. So he stole a jet skateboard. That explains the physics of going up a hill. Level the park. And I really, really... <sighs> Whilst I use smileys in conversation, a character in a video game should never say a smiley. It just doesn't make sense. That guy's still smiling. He has a skateboard. Why wow, that is some small text. Is this text for ants? Jason still hasn't returned. I'm guessing. Oh my. Okay, so X restarts the stage. Oh, wait. Excuse me. This was very much not what I expected <laughs> this game to be. When you're near a wall, your character just play. Okay, sometimes when you're near a wall, your character just goes up along it. Unless you need a block for it. I think that person just figured out how to make a telephone. This is very unusual, but not like in any good way. <laughs> you suffered fatal injuries. The, uh, the character obviously has no analog controls. It's just completely digital. You're either moving or you're not. Let's just pretend that never happened. Eh, are they talking about the game? <laughs> I think like yeah, it goes out too far for this block to land on it. I 
Jonah, can I lob this from now on and drop that first block onto there? This is definitely not what I was expecting when I seen the thumbnail which included like skateboarding. And I was thinking, oh cool. Oh. I'm guessing that thing kills me because the guy inside it looks angry, but can I stand on it? Uh oh. Uh oh. How does physics work? It's a non violent game. It might not remain a non violent game for long. But like the physics, if you land on the thing, they, it just completely stops. Something <laughs> really strange is going on here. This is, yeah. This is the very, very bare minimum. Oh, brilliant. This is the very bare minimum of like what it takes to be considered a game. And yeah, it's not exactly what I would consider to be enjoyable. <laughs> that just like messes with my head a small bit. The fact that they even consider that to be a way that you should uh, have physics work. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> Wait. 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 <laughs> Bye. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get this puzzle done and then that's it for me in this game. Like It's, I can't say it's the worst game in the world, but it just isn't enjoyable. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I can't get up there because I pushed that block down. Oh my, it's just so filled with like, uh, beginner's folly kind of puzzles as in like you do something that's kind of obvious and then the game is like ha no you weren't supposed to do that like expecting that to roll me forward because obviously you would expect it to roll forward I wonder it doesn't matter which one of these two blocks gets pushed out here hopefully not <laughs> yeah this seems fine. Uh oh. Buzz souls. You gonna hit those buzz souls, forklift mate? Oh no! See you down here. But like, it would be easy to make use of that forklift if not for the fact if you aim to win, you shouldn't die. Yes. Right, I'm not doing that again. This game, graphics, controls, physics, every aspect of this is something that should, yeah. It shouldn't take up 300 megs. If this was a tiny game that was about four megs, fine. But no, as 300 megs of space, like, yeah, that's about the size of one of the Picross games, which have music and gameplay and aren't this jarring. Okay, that's it for this. This is an outie. So that's Cedar's Puzzle Reboot. 
I believe. And it was 300 megs of this. See you on the next one where hopefully we find an indie and not an outie. Thanks for joining. Please uh, chuck a like or subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed these videos. And get to see me getting confused at really, really bad indie games. And yeah, hopefully check out one of the other ones on the side if any of them are on the eShop and you see them for sale. Check out my review and a first look at them. And yeah, hopefully you find these things useful. Let us know in the comments down below. And we'll see you on the next indie or outie.